Good morning. So today is an exciting day because we are hunting for autumn fall related products. It's currently the 22nd of July, but I keep seeing TikToks everywhere where people are going into TK Maxx, the range, whatever. Is it not focusing on me? No, it's focusing on Kiwi. I'm finding really cute products. So I'm specifically on the hunt for a cup that I saw in a video in the range. So we're gonna head there first. I am obviously like literally just out the shower, so I'm gonna get ready first. But I was excited. I wanted to do my intro because I'm excited about today. It's early. What time is it? Um, I don't know. I think it's like 20 to eight, which I mean, it is early to go shopping. I wanted to go for when the range kind of just opens because I wanted to go when it's quiet because I'm going to try and conquer my fear today. So I've never filmed anything in public because I'm quite scared too. Um, but I'd love to be one of those people that can just like go out and do a little, little shop with me is because I really like watching those and I would like to do some of my own but I'm just terrified of somebody seeing me film like myself or me talking to the camera in public. I think I'm just like worried people are gonna be like, oh my God, like she's trying to make a YouTube video. That's so embarrassing. Like, <laughs> I don't know if it is embarrassing. Like I see it sometimes and I'm like, mm, yeah, fair enough, like good for them. Like maybe they're successful, like, you know, you know? And I just don't think anyone's really gonna be looking at me that much if they're like, if I saw someone doing that, I'd like glance and then I'd never think about it again, to be honest. But it's just something I've always been scared of and I've been making YouTube videos for about five years and it's, it's, I've never done it before. So today we are going to conquer my fear and I'm going to chat to you guys while I'm in the range and I'm, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to do a little shot with me. I don't have anyone that lives close to me that would want to do this kind of activity, which is sad because I would love to have somebody be as excited as I am about autumn. I mean, I do have friends that enjoy autumn, but probably not to the extent where they'd like want to go like hunting for autumn stuff. We're gonna hit the range first, and then I think I'm gonna pop into TK Maxx as well because I need to go to Primark, and like TK Maxx is kind of near by Primark. So that's the plan for today. So I'm just gonna get ready, and then we'll go. I have a nice boy with me. Uh, you feel friendly? And then there's another one over there. Also, just as a side note, do you know what better be a feature on iOS 18 or the new iPhones is while you're recording, you can flip the camera. You can do that in Snapchat. Why can't you do it on the iPhone camera? If they don't bring that in, I'll be having words with Steve Jobs. Don't know if that's the right guy and I think he might be dead, but you know what I mean. This is my, oh my God. This is my outfit for the day. Um, I need like a jacket, but I don't really have like a mid-season jacket that would go with this. Cause it's like perfect autumn weather, but it is still quite warm outside. Like it's cloudy, it kind of rained this morning, but I know I'm gonna be warm if I wear like a proper jumper. So I've got just like a gray hoodie. I would have preferred something more like beige cause I've got like the little beige ties on here, but it's fine, this will do. So I'm finally ready. It's quarter to nine, which is a lot later than I wanted to leave. Like it took me an hour to get ready and it never normally does, but I decided to curl my hair because I haven't curled it in ages and it doesn't really hold the curls that well, but it does give it like a little bit of texture. So that's why it took me longer than usual, but I'm just gonna put my shoes on and we're gonna head out. Okay, I have arrived. This isn't the range I was thinking of. It's quite small. So we might have to go to a different one, maybe. Um, I just went to the nearest one. I didn't even realize this one was here, but it looks kind of scary, you know? They have like a couple of odd bits, but I'm not seeing the cup I was after. I think this is quite cute. I think it's 20 quid, that's quite good. This is nice. It's like kind of autumnal. 40 pounds is quite good as well. This is cute. 
That's kind of autumnal. Look, they've got a little mushroom. Okay, they didn't really have a lot. They only had that tiny section um, that I showed you towards the end there. They did have some cute bits, but there is a bigger B&M not too far from here that I'm gonna go to instead because I know they'll have loads of stuff. Um, yeah, we'll go there instead. Okay, we're at the giant... We're at the giant range, the range now. Um, this one looks more promising. It's huge, I'll show you. Look at the size of this range. So I feel like this would definitely have some good stuff. We're actually at the range global headquarters, whatever that means. But um, no, the entrance is actually over there. So that's where we're going. They have these. They're cute, but not what I was looking for. Oh my God. That's so cute. I mean, they've got like the strawberry vase, but I didn't really need it. it. Smells really good in here, actually. We've got the pumpkin season. I'm gonna get this one, cause I was looking for this, but like in straw form, but this is really cute. As far as autumn stuff goes, it didn't really have a lot. It was literally just that one, like, strip. But I did see a clearance sofa upstairs, so I'm just gonna have a look at that now. I found the craft section, which does have autumn crafts. Like, it's a cute, like, knit your own pumpkin. That's adorable. I'm a little bit. Look at that. It's like a, I'm not sure what it is, but it looks cute. Oh my god, that's so nice. I like that as well. Okay, the sofa was £350, so I don't want it. We actually do have one coming today from Facebook Marketplace for £50. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. We did it! Oh my god, I can't believe it. I went in there, I was just talking to you guys. I wasn't thinking about what anyone else was thinking about me or whatever. It is quite a big store though and it was really quiet in there so that did make it a bit easier. But I'm kind of scared to go into TK Maxx and do the same because TK Maxx in town is quite small and it would definitely be busier. Maybe I won't, who knows. Yeah, they didn't have loads actually. They had less than I thought they would. But I did pick up this cute little mug. They did have a, like a can shaped cup one that I saw online, but they didn't have it. So I just got the mug instead because the mugs are also really cute. Yeah, I'm going to head to TK Maxx now and see what they have. I also need to pop into Primark, but Primark, I don't know if I can film in Primark. Primark is scary. Also, my curls are just like dropping by the second, but never mind. Okay, I've just parked up. Um, the car park's looking quite quiet, which is a good sign. So I just want to have a little dilly dally around Primark, see what they've got going on, see what's new, see if there's any autumn stuff. I'm kind of over summer already. Like I just want it to be autumn. Not so much the clothing. I think it is still hot, still too hot for like autumn clothes, but we'll have a look. Um, TK Maxx was a bit disappointing to be honest. Admittedly, I did feel a bit more nervous to film anything in there because the candles were like right next to the till and I didn't want like the workers to think I was like weird or anything. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, they only had like a couple of awesome candles um, and that throw that I filmed, that was actually really cute. And for 20 pounds as well, I feel like it's pretty good. So yeah, that was the trip. It wasn't as good as I was expecting, to be honest. It was a little bit disappointing. So what I might do is do another one of these videos kind of a bit later on in the month maybe more towards like mid to end August, which is probably around when this video got anyway. So I'll be doing another one soon in that case. Again, the one thing I did pick up is this mug, which is super cute. I don't know if it's dishwasher safe. Oh, it's not dishwasher or microwave safe. Mm, I feel like that's, I feel like I'm just gonna ignore that because I put all of my mugs in the dishwasher and in the washing machine, not washing machine, uh, the microwave. But whatever. But yeah, so I'm gonna make a copy of this now and I will be putting it in the microwave. So if this isn't the end of the video, if you see me in a minute with like my microwave on fire or something, then you know that it's not safe for the microwave. Anyway, thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. Um, I feel like I could probably film again, again in public. I was getting quite comfortable in the range, but the range was literally dead and there was nobody in there, so that makes sense but again thanks for coming with me today i hope you did enjoy if you did please feel free to like comment and subscribe and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye